Ora si registrerà la conferenza. Hello everyone, this is uh, Simone Bellassai, I'm the division manager of uh, CDR Food Lab and uh, in this uh, 30 minutes more or less we are going to talk about, uh, I'm going to talk about uh, uh, CDR Food Lab uh, range of products. Okay, so I'll uh, quit the camera and uh, I start uh, this presentation. Okay. There you are. So, so in this uh, in this presentation, we are going to talk about uh, this system, the CDR Food Lab uh, range that actually are uh, a range. This is a range of products. And uh, before to do that, uh, uh, I'll uh, introduce a little bit who is uh, CDR. CDR is an Italian company uh, that uh, works mainly in uh, three different sectors, the telematics, uh, medical diagnostics and food diagnostics. Just a little history, uh, CDR starts uh, its activity around uh, uh, 1970 with the, the telematics sector. After more or less uh, 20 years, uh, uh, CDR decided to open a completely different, uh, different sector. And uh, at that time, in, the, in, in collaboration with the big international group, uh, uh, CDR started uh, to produce uh, systems uh, for medical diagnostics, uh, um, specifically, of course, for, uh, for blood, blood analysis. After that, around 2000, uh, CDR uh, transferred the know-how of the medical diagnostics into the food diagnostics. Okay? Starting, uh, um, starting the work uh, and uh, the production of different kind of, uh, of analyzers that uh, we are going to see uh, after. Okay, for example, um, in the food diagnostics, uh, uh, CDR, we produce uh, uh, and we work in different kind of uh, uh, of food analysis, for example, in the food and feed, uh, we uh, work in the milk and dairy products uh, sector. Uh, we are able to analyze egg products, tomato or vegetable puree, again, uh, also, and, uh, and we are able to analyze bakery products. All this with uh, uh, a specific and designed analyzer that is uh, the CDR Food Lab. Uh, about the beverage, we are able to work uh, on wine, beer and water, cider and kombucha. In this case, we have optimized three different, uh, three, sorry, four different, uh, different systems, uh, wine lab, beer lab, cider lab and kombucha lab. We work, of course, uh, also in, specifically into the oils and fats sector. In this case, we are able to analyze all sorts of oil, seed oil, palm oil, olive oil, frying oil, or uh, also animal or vegetable fats. Also, we are able to analyze nuts or our shelled fruits. And uh, in this sector, we work again with the food lab, or we have two optimized analyzers uh, specifically uh, for uh, olive oil, oxy test, and palm oil, the palm oil test. CDR is present uh, worldwide. Uh, we sell, uh, uh, of course, directly or uh, through these distributors uh, in more than 10 countries. Okay, so uh, we are able to ship uh, analyzers and reagents uh, everywhere. So, what is uh, the system or the range of products. Uh, CDR Food Lab is uh, actually a range of chemical analysis systems, uh, easy to use and versatile, that allows, to, uh, allows you to determine a wide range of uh, different kind of uh, parameters for food and beverage. Today we are going to see uh, the food part. So mainly the system is composed by an analyzer that you can see we have uh, here two versions a big analyzer and a small analyzer uh, both of them are uh, um, 
composed by and equipped by LED emitters uh, with fixed wavelengths, so we don't use uh, any uh, tungsten lamp as uh, as um, the wavelength sources. Of course, I omitted that uh, the technology is based on a photometrical principle. So uh, CDR Food Lab uses a photometrical principle to uh, to carry out analysis. The system is composed, as I told you, uh, by the analyzer and uh, reagents. Reagents uh, that uh, uh, are made by pre-filled fillets. So a kit for us is a package of uh, 10 tests. Uh, and uh, uh, in this package, you find the 10 pre-filled fillets, okay? designed and produced by CDI. Uh, the um of course we need uh, the customer need uh, the customer needs uh, a pipette to take the sample so the system is composed by analyze reagents and uh, pipettes okay so what about the application we uh, we are talking about uh, today we are talking about uh, the food lab so with the food lab uh, so it means a big analyzer or a small analyzer. We are going to see after the differences. Uh, we are able to analyze uh, all these kind of matrices. So oils and fats, milk and dairy products, uh, tomato sauces, uh, egg products, or also bakery, bakery products. Which are the most important uh, features of the system, of the CDR federal system? We, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you that uh, CDI is the manufacturer of all this. Uh, so we produce analyzer, the analyzer, and the reagents as well. Okay, so we produce uh, a complete system for the analysis of food and beverage. So, what are the advantages? Uh, what are the most important features? Uh, reduced testing times in a few minutes or sometimes in seconds, uh, we are able to get uh, a result. An important result, for example, for the quality control of food. We are going to see some examples later. Uh, is a system very easy to use? Okay, so everyone, as uh, is written uh, down there, uh, everyone can use the food lab, uh, the CDR food lab line, the CDR food lab range of products. Uh, we uh, supply ready to use reagents, so the, the user. Uh, has to do only the analysis because the uh, reagents are already calibrated. The possibility, you have also the possibility to use the analyzer at production line. So this is uh, uh, a very, uh, very appreciated feature by our customers. Maintenance free, the, the system is very strong and also, as I told you, calibration free because we calibrate the reagents on our analyzer so the, the the customer has to do only the analysis and in a few minutes or sometimes in seconds uh, the customer can get the result this is a typical example of, uh, of using about the food lab uh, you can have the big analyzer in the quality control laboratory and the small analyzer uh, at production line. In this case, you are you have the very same system both in the quality control and uh, at production line. So you don't have the problems, uh, uh, normal problems uh, uh, in the quality control when you have uh, uh, different methods. So in that case, you can have uh, if you use the standard methods, you can have a problem of uh, reproducibility, problem of comparisons of the results. Here. You have the very same method in the, in the laboratory and at production line, and both of them uh, are uh, very easy to use, and everyone can use them. Okay, so you don't need uh, technicians or chemical uh, experts to uh, to carry out the system, to carry out sorry to carry out the analysis. Uh, instrumentation features. Let's see what are the, the features of uh, the system in general, starting from the, the analyzer. So, as I told you, no maintenance, no calibration. Uh, you can run 16 analyses at the same time in about 10 minutes. This is the analysis by session. 
we can call it bisexual. What does that mean? It means uh, that you can have more samples and you, you can run the same analysis on more samples at the same time. Or you can do also uh, what we call the multitasking mode. In this case, uh, you can analyze, you can carry out different analysis at the same time uh, on, the same, on the same sample. Okay, three years warranty. We have uh, uh, on board on the analyzer uh, a touch screen where you can uh, read directly the method, the procedure. So the customer uh, doesn't need uh, a paper method along the analyzer, aside, sorry, aside of the analyzer, but uh, the customer uh, can read directly on the screen uh, the method. Okay. Uh, I forgot uh, maybe the most important thing. Uh, we have an incubation part, we have a reading part here. So here you have the LEDs uh, and uh, this is the reading part of the analyzer. So here you can, uh, you can take the qubit from the incubation part, put it here and uh, perform the reading. All this part is thermostated at uh, 37 degrees Celsius. This to improve and to speed up the, uh, the time of the analysis, to reduce the time of the analysis, sorry. Okay, of course, we have, we have uh, uh, a memory inside the analyzer, we are able to connect uh, the, the analyzer to, uh, to an intranet or to an OS computer, so we can do, uh, and you can do what you want. Or, uh, uh, we have also the possibility to use a barcode, so we have a uh, software that is uh, able to manage a barcode reader and uh, in this case, uh, as you can see on the, in the example, uh, you can scan the barcode reader and automatically the, uh, the name of the, of the sample, in this case the, the code, the QR code or the barcode, uh, is displayed on the, uh, on the screen. What are the features of the reagents? As I told you, we produce prefilled reagents. So we have in the package, you find 10 prefilled cuvettes. It means 10 analysis. Uh, the reagents are ready to use. We have a precision sampling using uh, specific pipettes, uh, positive displacement pistons, uh, piston pipettes in case of hoids or normally air pipettes in case of uh, water solutions. Uh, again, um, the reagents are already calibrated because uh, CDR produce the entire system, analyzer and reagents as well. So we calibrate our reagents uh, on our system. And this is a big advantage for uh, the user. Of course, we have also a long shelf life uh, about the reagents, of the reagents. So the application, let's start, uh, uh, let's, let's start uh, uh, looking at the, uh, the application, starting from uh, hoids and fats, that is uh, one of the most important sector for us. So here, as you can see, you can uh, analyze uh, all sort of, uh, of products uh, if uh, the product uh, contain uh, oil or, uh, or fat. Which are the analysis we are able to run on this, on this matrices? Acidity, peroxide or FFA, peroxide value, anisidine value, these three analyses are very important uh, in, the, in, the in, the, in the oils and fat sector. Iodine value, in this case specifically on, on palm oil, but we are working to produce, uh, to develop uh, a new test for the, for the iodine value. So maybe uh, the next time we, we, will, be, we will have uh, all this new, uh, this new reagent. Total polyphenols, uh, in the case of olive oil or soaps. Okay, so these are the most important tests that we are able to run on uh, all its effects. Okay. Uh, what about the, the sample? We collect the sample as is, so we don't need any preparation. You don't need solvents, so this is the big advantage for this uh, for this sector. To analyze uh, so, mm, sorry, to analyze oils and fats, uh, you can take uh, the sample 
directly and put it uh, into the, the cubet with one milliliter of reagents and you run the analysis. You don't need any solvents to run SFA, PV and anisidine value. So um, if you compare these tests um, with the reference method, you can uh, easily understand the, all the advantages. Okay, you don't need few roots, you don't need uh, a lot of solvents to solve, to dissolve the, um, the, the sample. And uh, with the food lab, you can take it, uh, uh, take the sample easily, and, and carry out analysis. Of course, in case of solid fat, you need to melt it before the test. Just that. We are able to analyze the, uh, also solid matrices, solid samples. In this case, deep fried products. With the food lab, you're able to analyze the frying oil, taking the frying oil directly from the from the fryer. So in this case, uh, you realize uh, practically an uh, online quality control, but uh, you are able to analyze also the finished product uh, and uh, getting information about the shelf the, the shelf life uh, uh, and uh, having uh, an idea about the shelf life of the product or uh, the uh, oxidation. Uh, state uh, of the product. How we can do that? Easily extracting the oil from the sample. Uh, I forgot to tell you uh, a thing about the our methods. Uh, our methods uh, uh, use uh, a micro quantity of samples. So we are talking about uh, a drop, practically microliters, 5, 10, 25, 50 microliters. It depends on uh, it depends on the method. So here, you uh, it's enough. We take uh, the, the fried product, we uh, we press the fried product, so we squeeze out the oil, and after that, of course, we need to to centrifuge uh, the sample in order to clarify it. And after uh, after the centrifugation, uh, if you uh, have collected, uh, if you have extracted. Uh, it's enough for us 0.5 grams of oil and we are able to run the analysis. So you don't need solvents, you don't need the soxlet because uh, to run FFA, PV and anisinin, you have to extract the oil the fat from the sample and with, with a lot of solvents. With the food lab, you don't need it. You extract mechanically the sample and you, uh, you collect it and you analyze it with only one milliliter of reagents. Same story for nuts or shelled fruits. We press the sample, we uh, squeeze out the oil, and same story, centrifugation and analysis. So again, we are able to analyze all kind of uh, nuts or shelled fruits. Again, no soxlet, uh, mechanical extraction and uh, uh, no solvents required. Another important sector for us is the fish oil. In the fish oil is very important uh, too, are the, uh, the very important analysis and they are uh, peroxide value and uh, anisidine. In this case, anisidine value, if we are talking about the reference method, this, uh, uh, it is uh, cancerogenic. With the food lab, we don't have a cancerogenic uh, method okay of course all these methods uh, uh, i'm talking about are reference method itself or are correlated to the reference method of course we have a lot of studies or uh, evaluations from uh, or from institutions uh, that uh, that demonstrates uh, the uh, that demonstrate the accuracy and uh, the precision of uh, of our systems. What about the customers? Uh, in these sectors, uh, we have customers uh, that uh, like uh, oil producers, processors, or new producers. So we can have it as a customers, um, as a customer, oil mills or seed processors, uh, vegetable refineries, uh, butters, packers, or food and feed manufacturers in general. And of course, nuts and our shell and the fruit producer, producers, processor, uh, processors, uh, and packers. So we have a wide range uh, of, uh, of customers for our, uh, for our food lab. 
What about the competitors? So uh, we have talked about uh, FFA, PV, and anisinin or SOPs or analysis uh, specifically for uh, fats and oils. Uh, as a competitors, we have the normal reference map, hydration, a uh, system like uh, NIR or FTIR or normal uh, UV uh, visible photometry. Okay. Here you have uh, a table of comparison between uh, advantage, advantages and disadvantages of uh, these systems. As you can see, with the food lab, we have uh, reduced analysis time, optimization of the procedures. Uh, we have, as a big advantage, uh, uh, preferred reagents, uh, ready to use, no glassware, no toxic reagents. With the food lab, you can perform the analysis on a simple desk. Okay, so you don't need uh, a laboratory to run the analysis uh, we mentioned before. Of course, we, uh, the user need, uh, needs uh, the uh, analyzer and the reagents. Uh, what about the filtration? The filtration has uh, cheap reagents, for cough, of course, but uh, uh, you need to use glassware, you need to work in a laboratory, you, you need to use toxic reagents, uh, and you have complex complex procedures, uh, practically you need uh, uh, personal uh, or chemical skill, okay, you need technicians. With NIR or FTIR, uh, of course, we have uh, reduced analysis time, more than half, so we can say no reagents required, no last one. so this would be great, but the analyzer is very expensive, you need a strong and uh, difficult calibration to to carry out, you have a very expensive uh, maintenance uh, and, uh, and it is not a chemical method, it's a statistical method. Okay. Photometry, of course, you have to use an analyzer uh, that uh, must be already present in the, in the lab. Uh, or uh, um, what about the disadvantages? You need, of course, a photometer. In this case, the most important disadvantage of the normal photometry is that uh, you need to perform the calibration. With the CDR food lab, the calibration is already made by us. Okay. And of course, uh, with the normal photometry, normally the procedures uh, are more complex than, than the food lab because uh, we develop and we uh, produce reagents, uh, but uh, we uh, improve also the, um, the sample treatment. Okay, milk and dairy products. Here we are able to run uh, lactose, ammonia, uh, lactic acid, urea, chloride, alkali phosphatase, fructosilicin or furosin, uh, peroxidase, and uh, hydrogen peroxide. These are the tests we are able to run on milk or uh, on dairy products. Okay. We can analyze the milk as it is. No pretreatment is required. Why this? This is uh, uh, because uh, we use LEDs as a wavelength source. So we are able to take the milk or uh, the cheese treated and we are able to analyze it without any clarification. Okay? This would be impossible with the normal photometry. What about the cheese? We can take a low quantity. We can, uh, of course, uh, we have to extract the solution. We uh, treat the cheese uh, easily and we analyze the liquid solution. The systems. Uh, in, the milk, uh, in the milk sector, we have uh, three practically systems. Uh, CDR Food Lab Junior, specifically designed for urea test. Uh, the CDR Food Lab that is able to, to run everything, and uh, the CDR Food Lab uh, Junior Milk. In this case, uh, we are able to uh, configure this uh, analyzer uh, as the, key, the customer wants uh, with the three parameters, uh, with the possibility to add more parameters also. What about the uh, lactose? Lactose is uh, one of uh, our most important tests in this, in this sector, and uh, we are able with the food lab to 
and to analyze the lactose for uh, the detection of the, the lactose in the, in the lactose free products. Okay, so we are able to uh, detect easily uh, the presence and also the, um, the quantity of the lactose you have in the, you have in the sample. The method is very easy. Uh, on the milk, we uh, we collect the, the milk, and uh, uh, in this case, the sample preparation for lactose is uh, is absolutely easy because we, as, a, as a, I was saying about the milk, we dilute one part of milk and uh, we have them ten parts of water. Okay, and this is our sample preparation. So this is, uh, uh, as I told you, uh, for everyone. Uh, what about cheese, yogurt, and cream? In this case, we weighed 10 grams. We had 100 milliliters of distilled water. We mix it in the stomach in order to homogenize all the sample, and we take the filtered solution to test. So this is for us the uh, sample preparation for lactose. Okay. Other methods uh, for lactose: uh, HPLC. Uh, enzymatic method. Uh, sorry, we have uh, here uh, is written in, in French uh, or Cryscope. These are the other the other tests and uh, the other what we can say competitor. Here you have a table of uh, as we've seen before of um, where you have a comparison between advantage and disadvantage of uh, Cedar Food Lab, HPLC, enzymatic method, and, uh, and uh, cryoscopy. Okay. What about the customers? Uh, um, about the customers, we uh, we have uh, their companies, uh, meat processors, uh, cheese factories, uh, uh, and uh, these uh, these um, customers are. Uh, Interested in uh, all the all practically uh, all the methods we have. Of course, they are interested uh, more in one method than in another, depending on uh, the kind of uh, the kind of product they produce. Or also, we have as customers, breeders, uh, veterinary or feed producers. In this case, they are more interested in uh, urea because uh, this parameter is very important in this sector to, uh, to modify or to adjust the diet of the cows, okay? Hack products, uh, another, uh, another sector we, uh, we, uh, we are working in. Here, again, we are able to analyze uh, solid samples or liquid samples. And uh, the main tests we are able to run, uh, to run here are lactic acid, D3-hydroxybutyric acid, uh, cholesterol or, or color. These are the main parameters uh, for uh, this sector. And uh, the most important one, uh, the most important uh, test here is the lactic acid that is um, that indicates you uh, about the quality and about possible uh, a possible contamination of uh, of the sample. And again, here we are able to collect the hag, the liquid hag, and analyze it directly. So in five minutes, you have results. Uh, if you compare the uh, the normal uh, photometric method, uh, it takes uh, uh, more or less one hour, two hours, only two hours only to uh, clarify the sample. With Food Lab, you have directly the result in five minutes. About the three uh, hydroxybutyric acid, uh, in this case, uh, we need to perform a fast sample treatment and we can uh, after analyze it. When I talk about uh, sample treatment here, we are talking about a few minutes, four, five, uh, sorry, uh, five, 10 minutes of uh, pre-treatment. Very easy, very easy without any solvents again and, uh, and so on. 
customers, egg producers or uh, processors or food companies that uh, use egg products, uh, for example, bakery for uh, sweets or uh, and, and so on. Okay. Sorry. So, what about tomato? Tomato sauce. Tomato on tomato sauce with the food lab, we are able again to carry out the most important quality control parameters: total lactic acid D and L, so both forms, reducing sugars and chloride. Again, here we collect directly the sample can easily uh, filter a little bit the sample in order to remove the high color or the high turbidity of the sample. And thanks to the micro quantity that we need to run the analysis, if you have only 100 microliters or 200 microliters, for us is more than enough to perform the test. So this is the big advantage. And again, you can use it directly at production line. Uh, like uh, all the other, all the other applications we we've seen before. Bakery products. Here we are able to analyze uh, uh, the solid sample, and a customer, a producer of uh, a bakery producer, uh, can use the food lab both for the analysis of uh, the raw material and finished product. We have uh, more or less the same tests here. Again, free fatty acids, peptides, and anisidine. But here we are able to run also lactose on the finished product. We are able uh, to run also alcohol by volume in the preservative solutions that sometimes are added in this kind of products, or alcohol by volume in, uh, in, the, directly in the bakery products, because the alcohol sometimes in specific uh, uh, products he's added as, uh, as, a, as a percentage. So um, the, uh, the user has to, uh, to carry out, to, to determine this, uh, this parameter as a quality control of the product. How we can do that? Again, thanks to the micro quantity we need to do the analysis. So it's enough uh, to just the grinding the product, okay. So two minutes you grind the product. You had a specific uh, extraction uh, extraction reagent that we have developed. Extraction reagent that is uh, uh, is made by a water solution. So we don't again we don't need solvents. So you homogenize the uh, ten the thirty ten grams of product with fifty milliliters of this uh, of this specific. Uh, Reagent, one minute, we centrifuge uh, all, and you find on the in, the in the vial on the top a small quantity of the oil that comes from the product. So uh, we are able on this low amount to run FFA, peroxides, and anisidine. So this is a, a big improvement. Uh, about the quality control of these products, because uh, if, uh, if we think about uh, the reference methods, uh, you need a lot of solvents uh, to perform these three analyses, uh, and of course, uh, you need time, you need expertise. Uh, practically, it's impossible with uh, or it's very hard to perform these three important parameters uh, on the, uh, the finished product with the food lab. You are able easily and quickly uh, to to run these uh, important parameters for the quality control of uh, the finished product. Again, uh, without all, without any solvents, we need only the three milliliters of the perfilled cubettes for FFA, PV, and anisidine value. What about the, um, the lactose? The lactose or uh, alcohol is the same. In this case, we don't use an extraction uh, solution, but we use only distilled water. So we green the product, we uh, weigh the product, we have the distilled water, the distilled water, 
one minute of homogenation in order to uh, in order that uh, both lactose and alcohol pass uh, through the, the, the solution centrifugation and after on the top of the uh, on, on, the, on the water part we are able to uh, collect it and uh, analyze uh, both lactose and uh, and alcohol. Okay, in the end, uh, uh, what are the advantages of uh, the main advantages of the CDR food lab systems? The system uh, or the systems uh, are because uh, we can talk about uh, food and beverage in the other webinar uh, I'm going to do. Uh, we are talking about uh, the beverage part. So the systems uh, are easy and fast. The user can take decision quickly in a few minutes because they, uh, because the users can uh, carry out easily this analysis, and uh, in a few minutes you have the results. So you can take uh, you can take the decisions uh, quickly, right the process or on the process. Sorry, you can uh, realize. Uh, complete in-house quality control in the process okay you, again you don't need a laboratory or of course if you have a laboratory you can continue to use it but you can transfer part of the quality control directly at production line the analyzer can be used by everyone this is another big advantage of the system uh, you don't need expertise a normal worker after a little training uh, uh, on the machine can uh, realize uh, analysis like this okay uh, you don't need any glassware with only a small desk uh, with the analyzer on it uh, with a few reagents you need for uh, for your tests uh, you are able to uh, sorry this is written while making process this is just a uh, my mistake, but <laughs> because uh, this uh, this uh, phrase uh, comes from the other the other uh, uh, webinar, you are able to realize uh, the uh, entire um, quality control uh, only putting uh, uh, the food lab over the desk, okay, over the desk and using the um, the the reagents. Uh, as I told you, without uh, any uh, expertise or any chemical uh, skills uh, by the people that uh, ha have to perform the, the quality control. Okay, guys, thank you very much for the for the attention. We can say also if we are <laughs> if I'm recording this webinar, and uh, uh, if you. If you have, uh, if you need any information, you can write directly to us. You have, uh, uh, you have written the email uh, on the all uh, the, the slides you you've seen, and uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Bye bye.